G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to have a look at the Helicontex General Purpose Cargo Pouch. Now they say this is a classic pouch or classic cargo pouch. And I've got my cheat sheet here and I'll quickly go through that and then we'll have a proper look at the pouch here. They say the Helicontex General Purpose Cargo Pouch is a classic cargo pouch to be attached to Molly, Pals, or duty belt and you could even fit that just to a normal belt by using the molly there to put it through and it's got a velcro mounting panel inside to attach inserts compatible with a versatile insert system elastic loops to stabilize larger items and a lanyard loop this pouch would prove itself as a cargo side pocket uh, of a backpack the weight is 120 grams and they say the essential product features is Molly Pals compatible. Dimensions in centimetres is 17 by 12 by 7 centimetres. In inches 6.69, 4.72 and 2.76. Capacity 1.5 litres made out of a Cordura. It's got a two-way zipper, two elastic loops inside. Uh, external pals segment to attach additional items molly pals duty belt compatible and versatile inserts system compatible that's done so let's put that away in my bag out of the way that stops it blowing around and littering up the bush now the reason i bought this was to go on the side of the summit backpack I've got from Helicontex and I'll show you that in a moment. They say it's 1.5 litres. So let me show you actually what I've got in here and as you can see I've probably got room to add more stuff into it. Now this one I'm using for my first aid kit, my hygiene kit and my snake bite kit. So here we go. First of all there's a two-way zipper on either side. I don't know what they are, if they're YKK, but they seem really good quality. Again, basic first aid kit. Three uh, bandages, compression bandages, as a snake bite kit. And in there, as part of the snake bite kit, is my triangle bandage. Uh, at the bottom, my hygiene kit, which has got about half roll or loo roll there with the center taken out, face wipes, toothbrush, little bar of soap, uh, toothpaste, the little coin uh, face cloth, which you add some water to, a uh, little sanitizer, and my small towel, microfiber towel, all in that. And all of that went in there. So now I've got all the weight out of it, let's show you the outside. On the back first, we've got the molly webbing and the straps for attaching. Now these ones, as you can see, all they are is they go down past, hook up the bottom, and that's it. It will come out of these ones. But once it's actually gone past underneath some of these, and again, back through, it holds on. And I've had none of them get skegged and pulled off. We've got the three rows on the back, coming down, and four rows of molly webbing across. Again, the two-way zippers. And these little pulley things, if we're holding on to when you're doing the zipper up. Just makes it easier. You've got your little drain hole with a metal buckle or a little metal uh, grommet there. We've got three rows of webbing with three columns coming down with an inch spacing in between. So the standard molly setup. The material really, really nice. Inside. 
harder. I'll turn it out uh, inside out completely and it'll be a lot easier to show. Let's put them in out of the way now. First thing, which is on the actual front of the uh, pouch, you've got your elastic so you can keep things secure in there instead of having them moving around the pack or the pouch. And here, we'll take them off eventually, I'm going to. We've got your hook and loop or your Velcro. This is the actual loop part. So you can stick all the um, other pouch or the other parts onto it, your organizers and that. And a small loop at the top. So you can attach your keys to that, your torch, compass, whatever you want to. Stitching wise, all pretty good stitching, no loose ends. The actual finish off end there, they've tucked under a bit higher up so it's not dangling around. What's on here? Just tell you, designed in Poland, crafted in Vietnam, which is a pretty decent combination for quality. The weep hole at the bottom, you can see they've got the second piece of material, which is actually protecting the main one. So wearing that wearing through, if it does ever wear through, it's going to take a hell of a long time. But that's good, good little quality. Good touch that is. Colours, I think I'm in five or six different colours. I can't remember them all off, eh? off hand, so I do apologise. Uh, I think they come in adaptive green, OD green, um, the. Oh, my brain's turned off now. Coyote brown. Yeah, have a look. I actually got this one here in Australia from. Survival Supplies Australia. So I'll put a link down to this actual item in the description. And if you're having a look, have a look around anywhere else, but I'll be straight up. It is an affiliate link. I do make a small commission off it. It doesn't cost you any more money. It just helps keeping the channel going and buying gear to use and review. Now fitting this onto the side of the summit pack so with the summit pack the actual molly webbing is only the lightweight or the uh, I don't think they call it I think they call it mini webbing so it's not the full one inch it's only about nine or ten centimeters uh, millimeters but still nice and strong and like I said you can see on this side on this side I got my electronics in this one uh, I think that's the only reason I'm actually got these for this pack is because of doing the filming and needing the spare batteries and everything. But even if you don't want to use it uh, for videos like I do and add these to it, you're going to expand your pack by another three litres. And all this as well on these pack is great. So install it on this pack, let's show you. I'm going to centre it because we've got five rows of webbing here, or two going across, but with five rows coming down. And this is a, a, a one, two, three. It's going to miss the first one, use the second one, and the same from the other end. So we're going to use the three centre ones. And now I'm going to miss the top one. We come through this one. It's uh, the second and third one, and tuck it under the bottom one. Second. Come on. There it is. Third. Through the second one there. And through the bottom loop.
do the same on this side, miss the first one, go through the second and third one. I don't know why I do that, sometimes I just hold my breath when there's no need to. Through the second one from this side, so that's the second space, the uh, fourth one. And because now I've put it behind these ones, that's not pulling out at the bottom. So, no, it's still in the same space. So first thing goes in, hygiene kit. And the three compression bandages, snake bite kit. And the basic first aid kit. And the pouch sits nice and secure on the side there. The more stuff I've got in here, the more secure that'll be. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. The general cargo pouches from Helicon Tex. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, and you're not a subscriber already, please go down below and click on the sub subscribe button, excuse me, and then click on the notification bell next to it and select all, and then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.